It's the NFL on EA Sports, and the wait is over for this rivalry game. It's the New England Patriots and the New York Jets, and it comes your way next on Madden Football. Well, we are about a $50 cab ride away from Midtown Manhattan at MetLife Stadium at East Rutherford. Today, a fun matchup in the AFC East, as it will be the New England Patriots taking on the New York Jets. With Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon, and CD, a lot of buzz here in the tri-state area about these Jets in 2023. Do you think that they are ready to challenge the Bills and the Dolphins for supremacy in the AFC East? I certainly do, and for two big reasons. Number one, Aaron Rodgers is in town at quarterback, but number two, their defense, which kept them in every game last year and only got better through the draft this year, they can pair those together. They can compete with anyone in the AFC East and the AFC in total. Meanwhile, for the Patriots, they come in off an 8-9 record a year ago, a second losing season in the last three. It had to happen sometime. But you say don't pour water on these pads just yet. <laughs> no, not at all. No one should ever do that. Remember, they're always going to be tough for you to crack defensively. Offensively is where they have to make a jump. They've got to start scaring people with some big play weapons on the perimeter. Here's a punter, Thomas Morstead, to get this one started. And off we go from MetLife Stadium. Taken at the goal line. And able to get this across the 20, but not much further as he's dropped at the 23-yard line. Well, the Patriots offense set to go to work with Mac Jones at quarterback in his third season now out of Alabama. It was a much rockier season for Jones in his second year and even had to survive a brief challenge to his starting job. This is a big campaign for the former Rookie of the Year runner-up. He wants to get back to Pro Bowl form in this one. A thousand-yard rusher a year ago. Here's Ramondre Stevenson. And they're going to get this beyond the 40 before he's taken down. And a stoppage here. We're going to need to take a moment as a jet was shaken up on that one. We'll get an update when we return to MetLife Stadium. One play has him up past the 40 already and another first and 10. Again, it's Stevenson. And a good burst there gets him seven up to midfield. Absolutely no trouble moving the ball on the ground on the first two plays from scrimmage. Absolutely. You know what I really like? Same guy carrying the ball in both plays. And what drives me crazy is when a back has a nice run, he taps his helmet to go out of the game. I would want the ball again and again and again because you've established really nice momentum and now you're seeing the field really well. Throwing Jones. Got the connection here aboard. That one a first down pickup of eight. Now Jones. Hunter Henry brings it in. They'll give him four yards there, and that's going to bring up second down. The completion was given up, but that's why you play zone defense, so that you can have people around the ball when it's caught, and you don't give up much run after the catch. Second down and six now. Looking to throw. Jones going quickly there, but it's incomplete. The coverage was good, but I just wonder if they absolutely fooled the quarterback on that play. I think he was expecting something else. Ended up with nowhere to throw the football successfully. If they want a first, they need to get the football to the 32 here on third down. Again, he'll drop to throw. Throwing left sideline there. 
but it's incomplete. And the Jets' defense making things difficult there. Fourth down. So now on comes the field goal unit, and wow, this is no ordinary try here. This officially a 55-yard attempt, and this one is no good. He missed it, and this will remain a scoreless game. Well, that opening drive looked good for a moment there, but they'll wind up being turned away thanks to the missed field goal. And those especially hurt when you come into a game on the road. You're trying to get things to go your way early, and now you suffer a setback right out of the gate. The New York set to take the field. Now they're set up nicely at the 45-yard line after the missed field goal from 55. On first down, Wilson. That's to Dalvin Cook, his running back. And he's able to take it across midfield before going out of bounds. Just about every quarterback is trained to really look downfield first before you come back and make a nice, safe throw. And in this case, that's exactly what he did. Found his running back let him create some space, and it turned out to be a nice play for the offense. Now the first carry for Dalvin Cook. Nine yards to pick up there, and it's a first down. Well, there's plenty of real estate for him to maneuver on that run, and let's face it, it shouldn't be a surprise. He's one of the better backs in the league. Had to come into this game with the idea, slow him down, otherwise it's going to be a long afternoon. Back-to-back -back good plays have them on the move on first down. They go play action now. Wilson. Incomplete. Not only did he have a chance to scan the field there, it felt like he had a chance to scan it twice. The protection was that good. Unfortunately for him, the coverage downfield, equally good. Here's second and ten. Here's Wilson. A short throw to Conklin, the tight end. They do get a couple, but they'll be left staring at a third and eight coming up. That was an okay hook up there with his tight end, but unfortunately, they didn't get the kind of yards they had hoped for. That's going to bring up third down. So third down now. They need the 27-yard line for a first. From the shotgun, Wilson. Complete. Fine work by the Patriot D there, and it's fourth down. How about that? Red man coverage and decided to test them early. But they proved up to the task and forced the incompletion. So Wilson runs off, and now they will go to the man they call Greg the Leg, Greg Zerline. From the left hash, this will be a 52-yard attempt. And he missed it. It's no good. And this will remain a scoreless game. So it's an empty possession, and as a kicker, not the way you want to start your day's work. <laughs> and now each team's missed a field goal here so far, Brandon, so apparently neither guy is immune. So back onto the field come the Pats for their second drive. And they were in field goal range the last time out, but couldn't connect. And it's early in the game, so I don't think that the confidence just goes entirely out of, you know, running your kicker back out there. But let's face it, some coaches have a little bit less patience for that than others. Let's see if they call the game differently now in terms of what they do on drives and not try and settle for field goals. Good field position to start the drive after the missed field goal. Here's first down from the 42. Throwing to start the drive. Jones. Now a quick throw there, but it's going to be incomplete. He was looking for his tight end, Hunter Henry. But it's going to be second down. A give for Stevenson, running right. And able to work about five yards out of this as he's taken down up near the 47. A quick burst there, and he nicely bit off a pretty decent game. And the Jets, D, they call on a couple extra defensive backs on third. 
Off play action. Jones. That to the right sideline. And it falls incomplete. Sometimes the game is pretty simple. Put a few extra defensive backs on the field, give them nowhere to throw the football, force the incompletion, and get off the field on third down. So on fourth down, here's Bryce Behringer on to punt for the Patriots. Yeah, he was looking for the checkup, bounce, didn't get it. That scoots all the way into the end zone now for a touchback. Back on the field come the New York Jets for their second drive. The last time out, they had that long 50-plus yard field goal that they missed. And I'm sure on their sideline, they're thinking to themselves, okay, do we still want to try one if we're in that position again? And I would dare say that the answer would be yes. They're going to have a lot of confidence in their kicker. But just to be on the safe side, I'm sure they told their offensive guys, can we get a little bit closer yeah, get this a little time? Closer. Yeah, well, you know, I'd rather get in the end zone first and foremost. But if all else fails, less of a field goal attempt for him. Call it a gain of three on the play, and it's second down. Well, offensively, that's the mismatch that you want. You want to force a linebacker to try and cover your back out of the backfield, out in some open space. But linebackers nowadays, they run like backs and they take a lot of pride in covering. What a nice play he made there in the open field. And he's taken down, but able to slip across the 35. That's good for a Jet first down, a gain of 13. That's a very nice game there, a confidence building run. Love the execution up front, and the way he pressed the hole, absolutely perfect. Following the good run by Cook, here's another first and 10. And they'll keep leaning on the running game, back to the ground. And after the good game last play, this time they say, uh-uh, as he's going to be stopped behind the line of scrimmage. Looking at a second and 11 now after the loss. Now it's Wilson. Forced out to his left. Give him seven there on the tuck and run, and they're in better shape now for third. And that's an early scramble that can be viewed positively by either side. From the offensive point of view, it begins to establish him as a possibility to keep it on certain plays. And defensively, they avoided giving up a huge play in one of their first tests in containing a quarterback on the run. Out of the gun, here's Wilson. And yeah, this pass broken up. Excellent coverage there on third down as that was not an easy one to hold on to. And that's exactly what defenses talk about. You've got to find ways to get off the field when you can, especially on third down. And third down defense going to be vital in this game, able to knock that one away and force a fourth down. And here's Morstead now as he sends this one away. Fair catch signaled for and taken at about the 15-yard line. They call it 38 yards on the punt, no return. And the Patriots take over. Jones and the Pats now with a first and 10 at their own 16. It's Stevenson with a run to begin the drive. And he'll get this up to the 34-yard line. 50 yards rushing for him as he's got the afternoon off to a great start. That O-line, they cleared a big hole there on that run. The athleticism of offensive lines continues to evolve, and we're seeing it here. Not only are they controlling things right at the line of scrimmage, but they're able to get upfield to get to what we call the second and the third levels. You know, get to the linebacker spot, the secondary spot, getting all the way downfield with their blocking, which helps keep the running back clean. They'll try to continue. Blitz coming, and down he goes. C.J. Mosley, the linebacker, making sure his presence is felt. And there they bring pressure from the inside, and they get home. Yeah, hard to block everyone, isn't it? And on this play, <laughs> someone did not get blocked. He's the one who got home.
Another try after the first down sack. Jones, this one to Bourne, and he's got it. And he'll be tackled right on the chalk of the 45. Second catch for him today, and it'll wind up a first down. But one of the ways that quarterbacks keep all the receivers alive in a play, never lock in on any one guy. Make sure you keep your eyes moving, scan the field. And here he finds the open guy for a nice pickup. Stevenson now on first and 10. And he is going to be stopped cold behind the line of scrimmage. Two yards the loss, second and 12. With his size, he's a tough man to bring down, but they do a nice job there stopping his progress and not allowing him to get back to the line of scrimmage. So the first down run lost a couple. Now they come up second and 12. Back to throw. Jones, open man, completes it to Smith-Schuster. That's good, the completion there for seven yards, and it brings up third and five now. And I think this is a route we'll see more of as this game goes on, because with his speed, they want to get him the ball in space on drag routes just like this. They want him to get the ball and run after the catch. Good job there, though, holding him for a short game. Looking to throw, Jones. Pass taken in by his big tight end. And he will have a Patriots first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. We've seen quite a bit of the short passing game here early on first quarter, haven't we? We have, and I think it works a couple of ways for, for this team because, number one, you throw the short game until they stop it. And if they're not going to stop it, you keep throwing it, and occasionally you'll break a tackle and turn into a bigger game. Also, if they start to creep up, start to pressure receivers, now you go over the top, take it deep, and now you get some of those big shots downfield. Excellent job pushing through tacklers that time to pick up six. You know what really fires up offensive linemen? When the guy that is carrying the ball behind them can create his own space and break a tackle along the way. From the 35, back to work on second and four. They run once more with Stevenson. And he works it to the 30-yard line here, right at the 30. A gain of five, good enough for the first down. I think they like this drive a little bit better there, partner. Running game helping out, picking up some of the slack. Because remember the last drive, they went three and out. So first and 10 now from the 30. Operating from the gun, Jones toward the center of the field, but it's incomplete. So it looks like they still have some fight in them on this series because it seemed like things were headed for the red zone. But this defense gets two more stops. They can keep them out of that area. Now a second and 10. They'll try the left side with Stevenson. And he'll take this inside the 30 to about the 29, maybe the 28-yard line. They do get a couple, but they'll be left staring at a third and eight coming up. Pretty good little two-play sequence there. You foresee incompletion, then a very short pickup. Yeah, now maybe bring in an extra defensive back or two because you want to try and defend on third down. They like to play those nickel or sub packages, don't they? Jones now on third down. So you definitely don't want to be loose with the ball. And that's great work by this defense to force a fourth down. On now the rookie fourth-round pick, Chad Ryland, for the Patriot field goal. Spotted at the left hash, this from 45. And his kick is absolutely perfect. And the Patriots jump out to a 3-0 lead. So, Charles, they are on the board after that kick. So, three drives, three points. Obviously, not the start that you were hoping for, but they're able to erase that zero off the scoreboard. Yeah, I guess what you're saying is a point of drive is not what offenses are striving for by any stretch. They're happy they've got three now. They hope that that unlocks their offense for bigger points down the road. out is the kicker Ryland and he'll send this one away from a yard or two deep here comes a return 
And he's up past the 20 to the 22-yard line. And New York set to take the field. The last series for him, a little disappointing, forced to punt. And now they'll try to do better here and come away with some points as they begin this drive, first and 10. Wilson leading the Jets up now for a first and 10 at their own 22. He'll start by handing it off to Dalvin Cook. And he can only manage to get a couple. Second and eight coming up. They suspected that it was a power play up the middle coming at them. And boy, were they right. That defense got downhill in a hurry and limited them to just a couple on first down. The clock running here under a minute to go now in the first quarter of a 3-0 game. Now it's Wilson. There's a short one caught by Uzama. Yeah, that one was covered pretty well because they were trying to leak the tight end out into the flat. I think they were hoping he could catch and turn up field and pick up the first down. Here's third and six. From the gun, it's Wilson. He's got his target. That's complete. And he'll be out of bounds across the 30-yard line. First time these two have hooked up this afternoon, and it's a first down. This offense is starting to get into rhythm. A nice quick throw there on target, able to pick up another first down. So they'll come up first and 10 now from the 33. They'll try the middle with Cook. He'll take this up just shy of the 40. Excellent display of footwork on that run. Give him five on the carry there, and it'll be second down. Not a huge play, but I think they're more than happy with how it turned out. Don't be surprised to see them revisit that call because there was a lane there for more than just five yards. Put it in your back pocket and break it out when you need it later. 3 nothing after one on EA Sports. Second quarter now from MetLife Stadium. The Jets with the football here as they are looking at a second and five situation. Got his man complete over the middle. That's Cook. And he'll be brought down right at the 45-yard line. Seven yards there at a first down. Well, they certainly made a point of getting him involved in the passing game here in the first half. They must have seen something in the scouting that said, hey, we can capitalize on him getting the ball possibly in the open field. And I think in the second half, that may loosen up the defense a little bit to get the running game going back inside. That'll go for a gain of seven, and it'll be second down. to the ground, Cook. And he'll be brought down at the 45-yard line. They'll get three as the drive continues. It's a first down. Sometimes I get almost mesmerized watching these runners who have great vision. You know, those eyes that carry their feet to open spaces, make people miss. I just love watching those guys go to work. This offense finding its legs now. Here's another first and 10. Wilson. He'll get this to Lazard. So the completion good for seven there. And it'll be second down. Throwing is Wilson. He finds his man complete. That's Wilson. And he's got another first down as the tackle's going to be made at the Patriots' 27-yard line. This has to go down as one of the simpler routes in the playbook, but oh so effective. Nice completion there. Keeps the sticks moving. First and 10, and they've got three tight ends out there. A jumbo package look. Play action. It's Wilson. He finds his man complete. That's Wilson. And he takes it down to the 10-yard line. 
Another first down as he went right back to the same well, this time for 17 yards. Just picking up yardage in bunches here these last few plays. They have moved right down the field, and just like that, they're going to be set up with a first and goal. They'll run with Cook. And nothing doing. He's immediately taken down at the line of scrimmage. They'll say no gain on the play, and it'll be second and goal. Absolutely love the effort there. The ability to flow from his inside spot and stop that one at the line of scrimmage. Nice linebacker play. They'll go again here from the 10-yard line on second and goal. They try again with Cook. And a short pickup there down to about the nine. The second down play, not much better than the first. Just a gain of one there. Partner, I know we're in a goal-to-go situation, but my goodness, think about running the ball here, not even a thought, yeah, is it? Yeah, defensively, they're in a prime spot. And I think the defensive guys are probably expressing themselves to them as well. I wouldn't run it here, guys. You might want to try throwing it. A terrific job there to keep him out of the end zone. And now it'll be fourth and goal. So much about offense is what you call hidden yardage. You know, you, you throw the ball to someone, they catch it, and then they can make a big play. You know, they create a play, run after catch. They did a really nice job there of limiting that and keeping him from a first down. Yeah, stopped him in his tracks. They'll run for it. Cook. And they are going to stop him on fourth and one as they'll wind up going backwards. They stop him up short on fourth and goal from the one. And the Patriots get the football back. A chance to get some momentum here in the second quarter, getting their first trip into the red zone, but unable to get it across. And if I'm the head coach, sure, you feel some disappointment, maybe a little bit of deflation there because you didn't get it in, but I'm going straight to rah-rah mode. All right, guys, we didn't get it this time. It's only the second quarter. We'll be back. Let's get it later on. I want to keep this team up. I don't want them to feel like they've let everyone down. Positive. Got to be positive in this situation. It's too early to think that you don't have a chance to win this game. And the drive starts with a carry by Stevenson. And he'll manage to pick up about four. It's second down. And that's frustrating for a defense because they've got them pinned down deep. And on the first play, they give up a run that keeps an offense on schedule. Yeah, because three to four yards, that's all you're looking for right there, right? That's absolutely perfect, really, as a play call. You get three to four yards on first down. That's what they talk about to us all the time, about being ahead of the chains or on target, ahead of schedule. They were after that run. Jones throw into the hands of Henry here. And out of bounds across the 15-yard line. Third catch of this first half for him, and this one is a first down. That was a route run not just with dexterity, but with intelligence. Found the hole in the zone, made sure the quarterback saw him, and was able to make the sure catch and flip the down marker back to one. They go play action here on first down. Going top shelf for Smith-Schuster. And that will be incomplete. Would have been a big hitter if they had connected. Instead, it's second down. Uh, that's some good closing speed there defensively because that looked open for a minute. But that's great work with the ball in the air. Never gave up. Converged on his man and broke the play up. On second down, it's Stevenson. And he'll get this up over the 25 to the 26. Holding offense. Now the offense knew it. They were already starting to walk back as that one is accepted. Now they face a second and long following the holding penalty. Straight ahead at Stevenson. And he'll take this one only up to about his 13-yard line. Only two yards on the pickup there, and now they're looking at a long third down. Just not a whole lot of room to operate there on that carry. No, not at all. They did a really nice job staying in their proper places and not allowing any lanes to open up. And this offense on third down today, they've only converted once in four tries. This is third and 14. Throwing there, but this pass is going to wind up incomplete. Well, if nothing else, they were able to pick up one first down on this drive and get it away from their own goal line, but not much happened after that, and it leads to a punting situation. 
Here's Bryce Berenger now. Fair catch taken just inside the 40-yard line. So a change of possession here on the punt. And the Jets will take over first and 10. Another go around now for the Jets offense. They've got some stuff to build on from that last try because they moved the football CD and then they tried to go for it on fourth down, didn't convert, probably left a bitter taste in their mouths. I would say so, and I think that they go out in this series determined for that not to happen again. In fact, they don't even want to get to a fourth down opportunity. They just want to make sure they get it done within the parameters that they've set for themselves. Run their offense, get it into the end zone. Yeah, I think a little bit of determination and a dash of anger on first down but this one winds up to be incomplete and that's one of those plays where it's hard to keep two eyes on the football when you know the contact's coming let alone getting two hands around it hugging it to your body and absorbing the hit even for those big tight ends who you would think could absorb that contact a 10th carry in the game for cook and good running there as he'll take this all the way up to midfield 10 yards is the pickup, good enough for a Jet first down. A big hole there. How about him handling the point of attack? Just positioning himself so that, that run could go right off of his backside and deep into the secondary. They run again on first down. Cook credited with a one-yard gain there to make it second and nine. When we talk about defenders, specifically linebackers, keeping their eyes in the right spot. He had that eye down the entire time. And you know that's not easily done because they throw a lot of misdirection at you. They try and fool you and get your eyes in the wrong place. But you're right about that one. He correctly figured that one out and made a really nice play. Now a toss left side into the hands of his tight end. And he's got another first down as the tackle's going to be made at the Patriots 34-yard line. A really nice pickup of 14 yards, and it moves the sticks. But when you hit him on the move like that, and he's able to get into open field with a full head of steam, oh, boy, it's going to be tough to get him down. Yeah, there was a big window. They're lucky they did get him down. From the 34 now, here's first and 10. Now Wilson. Looking left side, and he's got a man. That's Wilson. And brought down, but not before they're inside the 25. 11 more on that one, and another first down. The goal for any offense versus his own defense, find the holes where guys are available and put the ball on the receiver before any defender can step up and fill it. They did it well there. Perfectly executed crossing route. Play action. Now Wilson. Now he'll escape to his left. And this turns into a nice game with a slide at the end. Good coverage downfield led to him taking off, picking up the first down on a 13-yard run. Certainly not the way they drew it up in the playbook, but that's why they love this guy back there. He sees things breaking down, and he's more than capable of finding an escape route and still getting a decent gain. Now Wilson on first down. quarterbacks want to get the ball to the perimeter to their wide receivers for big plays but in this situation it felt like based on coverage he knew that he wanted his tight end to have the football and for good reason now Greg Zerline on for the extra point so he missed his lone field goal try but he's got this one as that extends their lead so that winds up a seven-play drive all told. And it's finished off by a New York Jets touchdown. Morstead out now following the touchdown to kick. And this taken in at the goal line. 
And he'll get it up just past the 20 as his guys will go to work at the 21-yard line. Offense gets set to go, and there's Ramondre Stevenson. And the ground game's been good, but they're losing here in the second quarter. Can they use that ground game maybe to work the air attack a little bit more? I think so, because now you can throw play action off of being able to run the ball effectively. And oftentimes, you might want to just swing your back out of the backfield, get the ball in his hands in open space, and just don't get totally away from running it because some of these runs now, they may pop bigger as the game goes along. Yeah, they've been good with a run so far. Here's Jones throwing to start the drive. That quick throw there is incomplete. So another incompletion there. He's hitting on fewer than half his pass attempts in this one, and that is not a winning formula. Yeah, so let's make sure we give a little bit of credit to the defense here. They've given him a lot to think about, a lot of different looks, and he seems a little bit confused trying to complete passes. Up the middle, here's Stevenson. And he's going to be hemmed in and brought down right at the line of scrimmage. Call it no gain on the run there, and now they'll be looking at a third down. Stuff to put this offense in a precarious position. We know the securing the point of attack, especially against the big body guys in the middle of this day, has got to be priority one. Now right where this set of downs started, they need a full 10 here to pick up the first down and move the chains. Now throwing on third down there, but he cannot connect. The passing game not in sync here early, and now it's fourth down. It's going to be another frustrating end to a drive here. This offense, they've not been able to get anything going in this first half. And now it's going to be time to gather on the sidelines and try to figure out what's going wrong. Who has an idea? Who has a plan? Time to implement it. Fair catch called for and made at about the 32-yard line. So possession goes over here on the punt. And the Jets will take over. Wilson leading the Jets up now for a first and 10 at the 33-yard line. They go play action with Wilson. Got a man, that's Lazard. A big change in field position there. That's 40 yards on the catch and run. to play in this first half, 7-3, our score. They'll throw on first down with Wilson. Down he goes at the 23, a pickup of four. Oh, it's time to give a little credit there to the defense. They played that very well because it was a drag route, and he ran it a little shallower than normal as he worked straight across the field. He was hoping he'd get lost behind the defensive line, but once he made the catch, nowhere to turn up field and gain any yardage. To throw is Wilson. Open man here is Conklin. Give him a gain of five on the completion. And now one yard to go on third down. That's a staple of this offense. Drag route to the tight end. Yeah, he's unable to use his size to break off much more yardage after the catch, but still an effective gain nonetheless. So they just need one yard here to pick up the first down. On third and one, Wilson being chased, and he can't get rid of it. He's taken down. Now the Patriots going to use one of their timeouts as the clock shows 50 seconds to play here in half number one. So Wilson runs off, and now they will go to the man they call Greg the Leg, Greg Zerline. It'll be a 49-yard attempt from the left hash. Zerline's kick is up and through, and they push the lead up to a touchdown now at 10-3. 
So he missed his first attempt, remember, but this time he gets back on the bike and knocks it home. Yeah, and sometimes that first one can really impact you moving forward. It can just stay with you too long and affect everything else you do during the game. In this case, though, able to shake it off. He's riding high again. Morstead, the punter, out to kick it off. Here comes Montgomery now to return it. They're running with power here. And he'll get it up past the 20 to about the 22. The Patriots with the football here late in this first half. A slim deficit here in a one-possession game. Not much time left, obviously. We'll see if they can march this down the field, at least get three and take some momentum into the locker room. Throwing Jones. That's caught by his big tight end, Mike Gesicki. So give him five yards there on the pitch and catch. And that will bring up second down. Nice rhythm throw there on first down. He located his tight end, made it a nice easy pitch and catch. Hoping he can break a tackle or two. Wasn't able to do that there, but still good yardage. Now the Patriots moving quickly, hustling up to the line. Jones, a final shot before break. He'll get this into the hands of Stevenson. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. So we've hit halftime here at MetLife Stadium with a home team, the Jets, leading this one. As we'll get you down the coast to Orlando for Jonathan Coachman at our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach! Okay, Brandon, thanks very much. And welcome in everyone to our downtown Orlando studios in this EA Sports Halftime Report. We were treated to a strong first half from the former number two overall pick, Zach Wilson. He has a touchdown pass, and that amounted to the only touchdown of the game for either team thus far. Okay, Coach, yeah, adjustments likely going to play a big role in this third quarter in what's been a tight contest so far. set to receive this third quarter kickoff and they have the lead as well as we are underway in the second half and here comes a return from just beyond the goal line the lane opens here he's past the 30 it's a foot race and they are not going to catch him he's in touchdown Jets And you've used the phrase with me before, pressing the kicking game. What exactly does that mean? Because they did it there. It means focusing on it, all aspects of it, because it's the third part of the game. Offense, defense, special teams. If you press the kicking game, create an advantage, make a big play, it often leads to victory. Zerline now for the PAT. It's up and good, and that makes it 17-3. And what a job there by all 11 on the kick return. The blocking excellent, the return excellent. The result, six points. again after the kick return TD here's yet another kickoff and he won't 
won't get this to the 20 yard line as he's down at the 19. So here are the Patriots now. They get ready for their first possession of half number two. And their deficit a little wider now than it was at halftime following the field goal a moment ago. But the goal is still the same because you know they want to come out, establish a rhythm in the second half, and get going. Make no mistake about it, though. Kicking field goals, not in their game plan. They need to get involved in the end zone. Jones and the Pats now with a first and 10 at their own 19-yard line. They'll run with Stevenson to begin the drive. And he's going to take this ahead for right around three yards, but no more than that. Second down. I think they want to start getting back into this game. It behooves them to get better on first down. Yeah, certainly not what they were looking for there out of the opening play of this drive. And they'll come up second and seven. Now Jones. Got a man open. That's Devontae Parker complete. And he'll be corralled right around the 34. That one good for 13 at a New England first down. And that's one of the better plays we've seen this offense put together so far. They haven't been able to get on track much at all. But listen, they're only down a couple of scores with the rest of this quarter and the entire fourth remaining. So stranger things have happened. Now a handoff, Stevenson, and he is met at the line of scrimmage, and he goes down right there. Officially no gain on the play, and it's second down. The free safety roaming all the way up to the line of scrimmage to make that stop. How about his ability to trust his eyes and figure out it was not a pass play and go fast towards the line of scrimmage in order to make that tackle? Back to throw now on second and 10. This one to Bourne, and he's got it. And he gets this one to midfield before he's brought down. Give him 15 yards on that one, and New England has a first down. Well, that certainly has to feel good. It's not all the time that the play caller should get all the credit. Sometimes I think in the huddle, the quarterback just says, hey, who's going to make a play for me? I just need something right here. And the end result there, nice first down. Drive keeps moving. From the midfield stripe, they'll look to throw. Short pass caught by Henry. And this will be stopped at the 44. That one good for seven yards. And there's a completion to the tight end. And look at the size of these players nowadays. At that spot, 6'4", six, 6'5", six, and up. A lot of guys used to be basketball players, somehow came back to football. And that's really good for the game of football. You're getting better athleticism, great hand-eye coordination, guys who know how to control their bodies when they run their routes. Meanwhile, Jones' throw complete there to Smith-Schuster. And that's going to be another first down as the tackle made at the Jets' 25-yard line. 19 yards the pick up there. Move the chains. Now what we're seeing, this is much better from this offense because so far in this game, no touchdown to this point. And what's usually a direct correlation? Very few explosive plays. That's been their issue. Not able to make that big shot downfield or break one off. But a nice game there for a first down. That was play number seven on this drive, and it got him seven yards. Second down and three. Back to throw again. Complete. It's Henry. And all the way down inside the five to the four. A nice pickup of 14, and it moves the stick, sets up a first and goal. It's taken a while for this offense to get going. A little creaky at the start, but they're oiled up now. A nice throw there, and they're really putting together a good drive. First and goal, and they got to be thinking a chance to get right back into this football game. They'll stick with the passing game as he looks to throw. Checking this down to Stevenson. And he'll go backwards, losing yardage to the five. It'll go as a loss on the play. Not what you need down here. It's going to be second and goal. Really good defensive effort. They were all over that little swing pass out to the right side before lost yardage. Terrific read, better execution, and done with a lot of enthusiasm, wasn't it? Absolutely. They saw it all the way, ran to the football, and cause a nice play for lost yardage. Throwing again on second down, but this time it's incomplete. We've got to give out a little applause on that play. It has to go to the defense. More good work by them. 
They've taken away the passing lanes all game long, and you can see the frustration that it's causing because he just about threw that one into the first round. Got to figure this is one they need here on third and goal. They'll try and run Stevenson, and he is going to lose yardage here. It's a loss of a full three yards, and it brings up fourth down. I know they're going through all the possibilities right now, but the truth of the matter is a field goal doesn't do them a ton of good. It'd still be a two-score game, so to me, go for it. Go for it boldly. On now the rookie fourth-round pick, Chad Ryland, for the Patriot field goal. From the right hash here, should be an easy one. And this one is right through. And a second field goal here gets him back within 11 now. It's 17-6. to six. So the three points there, and CD, that helps him inch a bit closer. Yeah, partner, when you're losing, any points you see go on the board in your favor, you're happy to take them. So after the field goal, Ryland back out as he'll send this one away. And he'll be tackled just shy of the 25. The New York set to take the field. And they're not going to play this conservative, I don't think. They had the field goal last time, and they're up, but they're looking to put a drive in the end zone. Oh, I agree with you totally. No one is, goes out on the field and says, all right, let's just settle for three, except in certain situations, trying to ice a game, that sort of deal. Most of the time, it's end zone, and that's what you're thinking, and I believe that's exactly what they're thinking as they begin this one. Yeah, no quarterback ever goes out there saying, hey, let's get three, right? right. <laughs> not one that I've ever met. This will be stopped about two yards shy of the marker. Eight-yard gain, second and two. First play of the drive. Let's give credit all around. Excellent blocking, but a guy carrying the ball. He was the finisher. A really nice run. A ball on the 32. It's second and two. Off the play fake. Here's Wilson. Oh, he had a man. He overshot him. It's incomplete. Oh, man. That is just a flat miss. He's in the pocket. The protection holds up. He sees his man come free, but maybe he just gets a little excited about the prospect of a long touchdown. After the incompletion, here now, third and two. They'll bring a tight end in motion left. They'll run it. Here's Cook. And he gets it to the 34. Good enough for the first. A third down gain of three yards, and that'll be enough. I haven't met a football team yet that runs the ball successfully that doesn't talk about having an attitude to be a running football team, right? You got to be able to put your nose in there, smell where the first down sticks are, and get there. On first down, Wilson. He'll get this to Lazard. And it'll get him down after a pickup of eight, second and two. Now a second and two. Here's Wilson. Setting up the screen for Cook. Take this to the other side of midfield before going out of bounds. Ten yards is the pickup. Good enough for a Jet first down. And now we get into the psychology of the whole thing because a lot of teams with a two-score lead in the third quarter, they almost become defensive with their offense, just playing not to lose. I think with this team, you got to figure at this point, this is a great spot for them to go into attack mode, really try and put the hammer down and finish this one off. A good run there by Cook on first down, powering his way forward, a gain of six. Brandon, all things considered, they have to feel pretty good about getting that type of a gain considering the blitz that they just had against them. Second down and four. Here's Cook again. Tried to bounce it outside, but they'll stop it behind the line. 
It'll be a loss of a yard, and that's going to lead to a third and four coming up. Well, partner, I guess sometimes it's just a matter of philosophy. Some say run until they absolutely stop you, and others say, well, when you think they're about to stop you, fool them a little bit. I guess they should have tried to fool them on that play. From the gun on third down, Wilson. Work in the middle of the field, he's got a man to play. And he's got another first down as the tackle's going to be made at the Patriots' 24-yard line. The Jet passing game in rhythm. They've got another first. Normally on third down and short yards, you're thinking of throwing to your tight end. It's just going to be a simple chain mover. But this time they let him roam down the field, and a nice dart picks up the first down and then some. On first and ten, it's Wilson. That's complete right side to Lazard. He'll go down as a gain of six, and it's second down. They like going to him in the slot. He catches another one. I think this comes under the heading of, until they stop him, why not go back to him? He has something going really well. Great working relationship with the guy throwing the ball, and they keep making the connection. Here's Wilson. And Lazard's got it again. Back-to-back -back receptions for him, and it's another first down. He decided to run a hitch route. It really helped out a guy who can turn it loose. And, boy, he rifled one in there on that one. Not much run after catch, but it worked really well. From the 13 now, they work on first and 10. Another tote for the workhorse this afternoon. It's Cook looking for a crates. Can't find one. Stopped at the line of scrimmage. Call it no gain on the play, and it'll be second down. They've called his number a lot this afternoon. You wonder how much tread is left on those tires. We certainly do, but I always think back to one of my favorite coaches in the NFL, and he used to have a meeting with his running backs every year in the offseason and say, look, as many times as you're going to carry the ball, you should be able to carry it. And did he get the feet down? Yes, touchdown. Garrett Wilson from 13 yards out. As his guys are able to push that lead out a bit further. That drive that really increased their cushion felt very military to me. Very precise, methodical, as one of the words you've taught me. And they just got it done. And slowly but surely now, starting to pull away a little bit. Things looking good for them here in the third quarter. Not only pulling away, but you mentioned that slowly but surely. You also drain clock, too, with yep. a drive like that. So you really give yourself an advantage. Zerline connects on the extra point, and the lead is up to 18 now. Morstead out now following the touchdown to kick. This fielded right at the goal line. And ultimately cannot get this out to the 25-yard line as he's dropped at the 23. Another go around now for the Patriot offense. I kind of feel like they've reached a do-or-die point in this game, Charles. If they're going to try to pull off an impressive comeback, it has to start right here, right now. Yeah, now they've got a final chance to get out of this situation, but they also understand they've got to move the ball and move it fast. In addition, they need to save as much time so they can get two more possessions. And now a throw on first down there, but it's incomplete. Play action's supposed to be used to slow down pressure, slow down blitzes. In this case, though, if it takes a little too long to develop, you got people right in your face. And lucky just to get rid of the ball with the arm going forward. Could have been a fumble. Second and ten. Running left is Stevenson. Five yards. Now it's third and five. That second down play call was not to pick up the first down. It was to accomplish what they did to get them into a manageable third down because they had the incompletion on first down, so they were behind the sticks, so to speak. They needed to make up some ground, and they did. This offense in desperate need of a conversion as they come up on third down. Off the play fake, Jones. Oh, he tries to force it in, and it's intercepted. 
Picked off by Jordan Whitehead. And the Jets are going to get the football here as he gets this up to the 38-yard line. So still no touchdowns allowed by this defense. They get the interception there. CD, they have been rock solid. And at this point, I think they have to expect that they're going to see some shots taken down the field. And that was almost a desperation throw right there, just kind of hoping something good can happen, a completion, a pass interference. But this was anticipated well, and they came up with the INT. They can't lead us straight up. Let's go, let's go, baby. Good starting position for the Jets as they come up first and 10 at their 38. After the interception, here's Wilson. They're going for Lazard, but this is intercepted. Picked up by Jonathan Jones. And they'll start out with great field position at the 47-yard line in enemy territory. Well, still down quite a bit here, several scores, but yeah, at least that's a start, Charles, getting the interception here. And look, we're still in the third quarter, so this thing not done yet. You're right about that, Brandon. This defense, they haven't quit on this game. They stayed with it and got an interception and handed the ball back to their offense. And what you wonder about is the team that just threw that interception, they've got to be careful about developing a sense of complacency and thinking this game is over. Stevenson now on first and 10. And he's going to get a solid gain of nine before being brought down second and right at a yard. Now that's the way you want to start a drive. Talk about a tone setter as well as a playbook opener. Now if you want to take a big shot over the top, you're all positioned to do so. Second down and a little more than a yard here. Back to throw. Jones and hitting Juju on the slant. Seven yards on the quick slant and a first down. Three quarters have come and gone. This is the National Football League on EA Sports. Back now here at MetLife Stadium. It's Patriot football, but they trail here as we begin the fourth quarter. Now Jones on first and 10. And that throw behind his man. He missed him incomplete. At this point in the game, they've got to continue to try anything they can. They're still working at it, even though this one feels like a lost cause. Here's second and 10 now from about the 32. Operating from the gun, Jones, five yards. Now it's third and five. One thing I think that's safe to say defensively, the tackling's been really good. And because of that, it's been very, very hard for them to move the ball because you're not getting the benefits of run after catch. They're tackling them almost on the spot. That means you have to run extra plays, harder to move it. This offense so far on third down, just one conversion and eight tries, not good. This will be third and five. going to wind up incomplete but at this point down big you'd have to imagine this defense are just going to sit back blanket the field as best they can yeah this is actually the easy part of the game for them because just as you noted they can sit back keep everything in front of them but they've blanketed the field the entire game using a variety of coverages and his kick is indeed good and that'll get the deficit down to 15. Well, with that field goal, you can argue they needed to get back within two scores, and they did indeed do that, but still a pretty uphill battle. Still going to take two fourth-quarter touchdowns to get back into it. And as you and I know, that's a tall order against any NFL defense. They're going to need their own defense to make some plays as well to give them an opportunity. Ryland now following the touchdown, back out to kick it away. And he 
he brings this out past the 20 to the 24. Now the Jets offense about set to take over as they head onto the field. Now there are two scores on the plus side. Still time here in this fourth quarter, but maybe you start thinking about playing keep away? Yeah, I think here's the situation. You're not thinking touchdowns anymore. You're just thinking first downs to keep up with your theme there, playing keep away. First downs, they can't touch the ball. Wilson leading the Jets up now for a first and 10 at their own 24. Meanwhile, Wilson's throw here gonna be caught by Wilson. And the result here, a pickup of eight. Leaves him with two to go on second down. From the 32-yard line now, here's second down and two. Here's Wilson to throw. Now they go screen, it's complete. And he'll be brought down right around the 37. Four yards, the pickup, first down. Well, they certainly had success throughout this contest, getting him the ball in the passing game, and there he picks up another first down. Whatever they saw going into this one, they've been able to capitalize on it, and no adjustment has been made to take it away. Throwing now, Wilson on first down. Nowhere to go here, he lost the football. take over at the 29 yard line well that takeaway partner right there that's a combination of coaching execution and absolute belief because a lot of guys will look at the scoreboard and go ah this thing's pretty well done but they still thought to themselves if we can make a play we give our team we give our teammates a chance to win it and that's exactly what they did Jones now following the fumble recovery he'll throw throwing quickly there but it's incomplete after that throw and it was definitely one that he would love to have back I wonder what's going through his head I wonder what kind of mind game he's playing with himself to get himself back on track because a lot of guys that's what they do they have little triggers that when the mechanics are off or if they make a bad throw that they go to that place to get themselves back in sync throw left side complete that's Henry and able to break one tackle, but then quickly brought down. But a nice little game. They get seven out of that, so they're left with a third and three. You got the big lead defensively. Willing to give them that underneath stuff, right? And this is why you work on your tackling. Tackle them after the catch, inbounds, keep the clock running. Just go ahead and bleed the game out that way. Throwing Jones. That is caught. And he will be brought down at about the six-yard line. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up a first and goal. And in a two-score game, obviously, every play, every third down, like we saw there, magnified big pickup. It was a huge pickup. What they really want, though, is to not even get to third down. They've got to maximize time and conserve as much as possible. Now Jones. Back of the end zone, could he get his feet down? No, it's incomplete. You can't be precise with your throws, especially in this situation. You're inside the 10-yard line going into the end zone. But sometimes the emotion, the excitement, sometimes the decisions just aren't made very well because of that. They come up here with another shot from the six-yard line, and it's second and goal now. A give for Stevenson, running right. And he is gonna lose yardage here. That'll be a loss of a yard, and it leads to a third down. I thought they were onto something with their play call and kind of went in reverse a little bit, threw it on first down, then ran it on second down. Not successful either way. What play call do they come up with here on this important third down try? They'll look to throw on third and goal. And he'll just get rid of it. So now, fourth and goal, you're trailing by a decent amount here. What are you doing, Coach Davis? Well, I've got to think to myself, just how many more opportunities am I going to have this close and have this chance? 
I've got to go for it right here. The clock's dwindling on me. Let's go get it done. And his kick is good. And they're hanging around here as the lead's down to 12. So they got the turnover started with great field position, but in the end, the defense able to hold firm, and they only get three out of it. And I like what you said right there, that defense able to hold firm, backed up into the shadow of their own end zone. The goalpost right behind them. They had to make sure they didn't give up the six. And boy, they came through in a big way. To them, even though they gave up three, that's a win for their side. Back out is the kicker, Ryland, and he'll send this one away. And he takes this near the 25, just a little pass there, call it the 26. Now the Jets offense gets ready to head back on the field. And last time they coughed it up, led to a field goal. They're fortunate that it only led to a field goal, but still, they're not happy about it. Could you sense the relief, though, when okay. they only gave up the field goal? <laughs> and they were able to trot back out on the field and start this drive. A little more pep in their step because they didn't cost their team a touchdown. But they know they've got to do it a lot better than they did on the last possession. The coach will just be relieved, though, if they recoup with a score here, right? I think coach will be ecstatic to see them pick themselves back up and now take it downfield and punch in the end zone without turning it over. And how about the quick feet there as he made a man miss on his way to a solid gain of seven? If you can keep getting gains like that, Charles, with the lead here in the fourth quarter, I mean, keep running it, right? No doubt about it, but what the offense coordinator has to do is understand they're going to continue to stack the line of scrimmage. What runs do you have in your arsenal that'll work against a stacked box and continue to move the ball? Nifty move. And brought down, but not before reaching the 45-yard line. 74 yards rushing now for Cook, and this is a first down. Well, that's a carry they have to be satisfied with, and throughout this game, they've been satisfied with what he's given them. Whenever they've needed a big run, a first down, he's the guy they've turned to, and it doesn't matter what the defense thinks. They feel like they've got the confidence to keep handing it to him and keep picking up good yardage. No, oh, he faked it with a juke. Now he's got some room. On oh, a determined run there as he's going to take this all the way down near the 40. 15 more there, and they're on a roll. It's another first down. No doubt those are the types of carries they're looking for here, Charles. The lead in the fourth quarter. This is when coaches that have a reliable running game, they breathe a little easier on the sideline. Yeah, they love the idea that they can take the air out of the football at this point of the game. That means they're really counting on that offensive line, counting on the runners taking care of the football because you're going to tell your quarterback hey no time to be a hero we're not going to throw it here just eat up that clock and if you have the ball they can't score ball on the 39 here's the second and eight they run it again with cook and he'll get four here down to the 35 yard line Brandon, I've got to think this offensive line has got some smiles on its faces. It, and I know it sounds crazy, but they practiced for this back in training camp. They knew they'd be in situations where it'd be extra defenders in the box coming after them, trying to keep them from locking down a game. Right now, they want to show the world they're up to the challenge. Now it's Wilson. Steps away to his left. And he will slide to a stop. He does have the first down. 18 yards, a big pickup there on third down. But that's a killer because you think you get it absolutely covered, and then he hot foots it out of there and picks up a first down. Drives you crazy as a defense. Looks like you're exactly right. Looked like a for sure stop on third, and then the tables turn. All runs on this drive so far. It's first and ten. They'll try the middle with Cook. And he'll go down here at the 12-yard line. It's a six-yard gain on the ground, and that'll make it second and four. Starting to become a tough spot for this defense. You're down fourth quarter, looking a little fatigued maybe on that side of the ball. Partner, we've seen this before, haven't we? Because every coach we've ever talked to says body language is important. And now you're seeing guys with their hands on their hips, they're bent over, hands on their knees. And the offensive guys are just saying, let's just keep running it out. We've got them now. 
They give him about four on the play, but he's marked short, so it'll be third and about the length of the football. Pretty good job defensively. Thought he was going to get it, but they knew where that marker was, and they stopped him just short of it. What it does is emphasize that strategic football and situational football is not just played on the offensive side, is it? Defense understanding, as you noted, where the first down marker was and making sure they didn't. Touchdown, Jets! Jets have pretty well put it away here in the fourth quarter. I've heard you use the term put away drive, and that right there seemed like the definition of a put away drive. Yeah, it certainly just pops right up out of the book, doesn't it? Because up two scores already, just wanted to possess the football, keep converting and picking up first downs, and if the drive ends in three points, that's terrific. If it ends in a touchdown, fantastic. Zerline good with a PAT. And that will make this a 19-point game. Morstead out now following the touchdown to kick. Taken at the goal line. And he returns this to the 22. New England's offense set to go. And tough to win games if you're going field goal, field goal, field goal here. They got field goal last time. Now they'll be looking for a touchdown. They're looking for the big chunk now because, as you noted, the field goal, field goal, field goal way of doing it makes it that much harder. It puts more pressure on every possession for you now. Go ahead and get six and feel a lot more comfortable about the position they're in. Bigger chunks. We'll see if they can get the score. Here's Jones on first down. Now defensively, you look at the numbers. Another incomplete pass that we just saw, and they're under 200 yards passing for the game, so they've done their job on that side of the ball. Yeah, recently I was actually working a game where a quarterback had a streak of five straight games without a 200-yard game, and that was a big talk both in his town and amongst his team. How do we get the passing game going? So big credit to them holding them under 200 today. Now he's going to swing this one out to his running back. It'll go as a loss of a yard, so now they deal with third and 11. I really like the angles that the tacklers came from on that play. They secured inside, took away the cutback. The sideline's there, so he can only go so far outside. And they were able to close in and tackle him for a loss. Yeah, they use your boy over there, the 12th man. Sammy Sideline, right? Sammy Sideline, you know something? He tackles pretty well, too. He's tougher than an airport stake. Now throwing on third down there, but he cannot connect. A misconnection there. He's hit on just 50% of his passes thus far. That's not where you want to be. Now you see the evolution of the game. You go back to the quarterbacks of old, 50% would be terrific because they threw the ball downfield almost every time they threw it. Now with the short passing game, you should be above 60% just to be in the average range. Desperation time now. Here's Jones. Oh, he's trying for Smith Schuster, but it's intercepted. And this one will be returned to right around the 38-yard line. Well, I guess an interception at this point on fourth down is just as bad as an incomplete pass. Either way, the ball goes over the other side. Yeah, it's a tough spot to be in this late in the game, and there's not a whole lot he can do there. And he winds up giving the ball away. And New York set to take the field. And after the interception, they are sitting in an even better spot with the ball and a comfortable fourth quarter lead. So here's a first and 10 at the 38. Up the middle, it's Cook. Just a yard on the pickup there, and it'll bring up a second and nine. Well, sometimes you just have to give credit to the defense. Great job there at the point of attack, holding up, 
They won their battles at the line of scrimmage, left him no space to try and run. A really nice job swarming to the ball carrier. So from the 37, here's a second and nine. Again, it's Cook. And he'll be taken down at the 33, a pickup of about four. Typically, we think it's the strong safeties that are better tacklers, especially closer to the line of scrimmage amidst traffic. But in this case, how about the free safety coming up and making the big-time play? The offense on third down, five out of nine thus far. This is third and four. Throwing is Wilson. And this is going to be incomplete. That is certainly one way to frustrate a quarterback. Run those extra defenders on the field. Dime package, lots of speed, no space to fit in the football. So Wilson runs off, and now they will go to the man they call Greg the Leg, Greg Zerline. From the left hash, it's an even 50-yard attempt. Zerline's kick is up and through, and that will extend their lead even further. Well, ultimately, not really sure that they're going to need those three points, but they'll take the three, and they pad that lead. Yeah, this one's already wrapped up, but you and I both know if you're an offensive coordinator, you never let up on the gas unless the head coach tells you to do so. And maybe you've actually clicked him off in your headset so that you can keep calling plays and trying to add to this lead. Morstead, the punter, out to kick it off. They'll elect to bring it out here from the end zone. And only able to get this to the 19, so probably should have opted for the touchback. New England trotting into place on offense. So now, Charles, this drive, maybe a touch more important, trying to erase the memory of that interception they had the last time out. Yeah, and everyone goes through this because even the best in the game, you're going to have games where it just doesn't go right for you and interceptions result. So, frankly, to me, it's all about how you respond, not just the types of plays that you call, but how you carry yourself, how you show your team that you're still with it, and how you continue to lead. They go back to the air here after the INT on the last drive. Complete. It's Henry. And he'll be marked down at the 26 with a gain of seven. Just two minutes remaining here in the fourth quarter of what has been a one-sided affair. So the Patriots with a football as we get you reset. They're looking at second down now as they search for a consolation score. Jones throw taken in by Bourne. Four yards the pick up, first down. The start for them near flawless. Defense gets them a three and out. Two quick pass connections on offense. So that's how a team works together. Just what you described. Get them the ball, give them a little momentum, and they're capitalizing off of that. Thanks a lot, guys. Jones throwing on first down. Into the hands of Smith Schuster on the crossing pattern. And getting this just shy of midfield. They'll spot it at the 49. The Patriot passing game is rolling. They've got another first down. They're going to need to get up and set in a hurry. They'll stick with the passing game as he looks to throw. Checking this down to Stevenson. And he is across midfield from 149 to the other 49. A gain of just two. So it was already a gain on the completion, but tack on some more with that penalty. Absolutely, no matter what angle you're making the tackle from, you can't grab the face mask, and that's just putting your defense on its heels just a little bit more. So a big penalty there on the face mask leads to first and 10. They'll look to throw again. That is caught by Smith-Schuster. And he gets this one inside the 15, just a yard or two shy of the 10. 23 yards, the final tally. Defensively here, you've got the cushion, but back-to-back -back pretty big pass plays there. Bend but don't break, but are they bending too much? I think that they are. To me, it'd be like playing basketball, and you put up a token press, 
make sure you get up there and make them eat up some time. Make it a little bit of resistance so they can't just run it right down your throat. Now the Patriots going to use one of their timeouts as the clock will stop with 37 seconds to play. Keep in mind, they can still get a first down here as they come up on second and inches. Again, he'll drop to throw. Going along the sideline, he has it. It'll be a loss of four yards on the play. And that'll lead here to a third down. In search of four yards here to pick up the first down. Back to throw again. And that is incomplete. And that's another play that's painted the picture of this game overall. It's been a blowout. It's been continually fueled by big turnovers and stops for one side and an inability to advance the ball from the other. The decision made for them. They've got to go. It's fourth down. Got to try it here. He's back to throw. And it's incomplete. They cannot convert, and they turn it over. They had to go for it with such little time remaining, and the Jets are going to get the football back. So they tried to go for it for pride, but it really wouldn't have mattered. This one, it was already determined. No doubt about it. This one was over a while ago. They start the drive with Cook. And he's going to be taken down shy of the 10 right around the 9-yard line. There to stop him, Juwan Bentley. I think if we put together a job description for a middle linebacker, we would start with being able to hold down things in the middle of the line of scrimmage and be able to take on blockers. But how about the guys who can go sideline to sideline and make plays? Love a guy that can do that. We saw a perfect example of it right there. Well, this was a very close ball game at halftime, Charles, but in the second half, that offense kind of kicked things into another gear, and they were able to pull away for the victory. And yeah, Brandon, I think they're the type of team that just looked in the mirror and said, hey, ton of pressure on, but we're the type of team that can flat out handle it. They stood up, stood up with confidence, and made it happen for a victory.